You guys may be wondering why there is a completely empty spot in the lodge now. Well, actually, if you read the title of this video and saw the thumbnail, you're probably not wondering, but you know, for sake of the video, I decided to start like this, but uh, it's because we got ourselves a rare gator finally, and I'm very, very excited to show you guys the kill on it. Now, this isn't going to be a long video by any means because uh, I just want to get this out to you guys and show off what these things look like, and they look pretty cool. It's definitely not what I expected, but... It's pretty nice. I definitely like the direction they've gone with them, and I'm going to assume that uh, because of what this is, there'll probably be some multiple patterns or something like that to the rare gators. Uh, we'll we'll kind of take a look at it real quickly because it was a pretty cool encounter with the gator. Now the crazy thing about this is I was just doing a quick gator hunt after the EW stream trying to get a, f a few gators down for respawns before doing the live stream later because we do plan to do a 24 hour live stream and I'll probably put this video live shortly before the live stream starts uh, but we're going to be streaming for a full 24 hours and it's going to be pretty crazy. So I had wanted to do a little bit of a hunt before that and just kind of see what we could get. And we definitely didn't find an albino gator like I had wanted to find, but we did end up finding this piebald. And I gotta say, it's nowhere near what I expected. But I'm honestly not too mad about it. I kind of like the way they look. And since this one barely had any noticeable, like, piebaldness on it, I kind of feel like maybe there's going to be multiple patterns for it. Uh, like there is with animals like the mule deer. So that's something to look forward to. I'm really hoping that we can discover whether or not that's going to be true in the next few days or uh, something. But I'll keep my eye out and see if we can get another piebald that looks different. Because I am kind of curious if they're all going to look the same. But uh, they do look quite better in the lodge than they actually do in game. So why don't we go put it up in the lodge real quickly. And this is what they look like in game. It's a, uh, or not in game, but in the lodge. And honestly, they're pretty cool. I really like the way this looks. I do kind of wish there was more uh, pie baldness throughout the body. However, I'm assuming there's going to be multiple patterns. So maybe there's one that has a lot more to it. But uh, honestly, this looks pretty good. It's great for the wall mounts. That is one thing really cool about the gators is they look amazing on the wall plaques, which is just fantastic. And uh, that combined with the fact that they fit on the small ones makes these one of the coolest things that you could put in your lodge on the wall mounts. I definitely am very happy they went this direction. Because now instead of just getting like smaller animals, you can actually put something pretty big on these platforms right here. And then also the fact that last uh, map we got the pheasant multi-mount that could fit on these small round ones. And now we have the raccoons that can fit on them as well. They're really starting to make it so you can fit a lot more variety of animals in your lodges, which is pretty sweet. But anyway, this was just going to be a short video to show off this piebald gator. Hope you guys all enjoyed it. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click that like button, and ring that notification bell so you guys will never miss another upload. Also, be sure to leave a comment down below on what you guys think of this piebald gator. I didn't even know it was piebald at first, but man, I am so happy with how it looks in the lodge. But yeah, with that being said, guys. I will see you all in the next one. Peace.